Hi everyone, welcome back to the Angular project series. My name is Anil and this is our 8th video. So first of all, let's look out the points of this video. So the topic is how we can just clear the form and show a alert message when data is entered. Okay, so what we are going to do for that, we will use the bootstrap alert here when the data is been submitted. So we have to just show here a, a alert that that data is successfully entered. And after that, uh, we have to just make a close function so that uh, on the cross button click, we can just close the warning here. Otherwise, this will be shown uh, all time. And after that, uh, we will also see that how, can, how we can uh, just clear out this form after submitting the correct data. All right. So guys, this is basically our eighth video. If you did not watch our PS7 video, then maybe you have some, you will face some difficulty to understand this project. So I'm going to recommend you that you have to watch our uh, previous all videos and the link is given in the description box. All right. So now let's start with that. So first of all, just showing the bootstrap warning because bootstrap provides a very good UI. We have to just uh, search for it. So just right here, bootstrap for alert. All right. And you can just click on alerts bootstrap, which is the second link. And there is already alert, but there is a no close button for them. That's why I'm not going to catch up them. So you can just use this one. We have already a cl close functionality here. So just use it and directly paste it inside of this file. Uh, sorry, this is our TS file. Paste it in the HTML file here. So we can just make it directly put it here. And now let's check out the uh, UI what we are getting here. So you can see that we are getting a UI here, but uh, let's change some color because yellow color is look like it's something warning at all. So you can just put here success. And uh, we can also change this uh, text line. So just write here success. And just use the alert and we can just put here some more text like uh, data is data or something like your data has been entered or uh, yes entered successfully all right so after this let's check what we are getting here this one but uh, we don't want to show it on uh, every time we just want to show when data is entered here so that we need to just apply some more conditions here so in the ts file let's take a property with the name of alert and it can be a boolean type so just choose by default false so that uh, it should be not shown by default so just use here we can just hide this bar so that we have some more place to look out okay so just use here star ng if and here we can use the alert sorry alert property if alert is uh, false then it will be not gonna show like this all right so when it will be shown when data is successfully entered so just remove this one and uh, here we can just write simply this dot alert is true all right so after just submitting the data, it will be show all time. But we also want that uh, there is a cross button on the cross, it should be hide. So that I'm just going to make uh, one more function like close alert like this. And here I just want to write here, this dot alert is false, all right? And now this function will be called on uh, uh, buttons click so we can just simply write here click and uh, let's call this function with the click event and for the click event let's make it bracket around it like this now this is a perfect uh, click event also but i just want to change this line also because this is not relevant here so just write here add new restaurant like something new restaurant right so this is okay yeah 
so one more thing that after this which is the last point here we want to clear the submit uh, uh, submit form after just uh, submitting the data for that we can do one thing whenever everything is has been done then we can just call this dot uh, our form name which is the uh, add resto dot reset and we can use uh, blank object inside uh, as in parameter all right so everything is set so now let's try we don't need uh, this one also if if you want we can just also close it and this functionality can be done inside it also okay after that um, let's open our db file also so that we can look out that what changes are going on here so this is our db file so here you can see that we have a uh, six result for now and uh, now let's enter some new values like uh, natural food natural food something like restaurant name and email id is also natural natural at the rate test.com and uh, address can be greater noida greater noida and that's fine let's try to submit it whenever i'm just going to submit it now you can see that we got a successful alert message and form is also also empty here so the data is entered here with the id 7 and uh, we can close it now you can see that there is this is also working fine and listing is also working fine here all right so this is the way that how we can add the more data so if you just want to try to add one more we can also try like spice food and uh, spice spice at the rate test.com and address can be noida sector 124 something like this okay so this is also working fine and uh, if i'm not even close it then if i just go on a listing and i've just come back this is also gone and submit form is also empty all right so this is the way that how it's working if you still have find that there is something confusing you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care